What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Norn Rad 89 here, bringing you another Rad Movie Review. Today, we're going to be talking about Krampus. Yes, I finally got a chance to see it, and let's get down to talking about it. This is going to be a spoiler review, so if you haven't seen it, go out and watch it, and then come back and watch this video so we can talk about it. Let's get down to this review. Roll it. So, Krampus is a 2015 Christmas-themed horror film directed by Michael Daughtry. It was definitely a film that was kind of included all the nice Christmas tropes that you love, but also throw in a nice horror story to give us a little something to be into and everything. So let's get down to talking about this movie. And we're going to talk about the positives first. So right off the bat, the positives is they definitely went all in on the tropes for this film. There's all the Christmas-themed movie, like music in this film, the family dinner with all the awkward relatives and the aunts and uncles that you all dislike and everything that's in the movie. Like, There's just all the little key things from all kinds of Christmas-style movies that you enjoy is in this movie. But we throw in the European folklore tale of Krampus, who is kind of like a bad Santa, evil Santa story, used in old European folklore to kind of keep your children in line during the season, you know, make sure that they're all good kids and they're happy and don't cause you any trouble. So Krampus is kind of like a little boogeyman story back in the day. So we finally got a movie for it. And like I said, they all went all in on the Christmas tropes, which was really cool. I did enjoy that. And there's some good scenes in it where just the the cinematography and the setup of the scene and the way it's like dark and the so snowy and like the way the color saturation changes on some of the scenes like I like that a lot too like probably my favorite favorite scene in the movie is when the daughter's going to check on her boyfriend up the street and she's walking up the block and as she's walking the color saturation changes and it goes from really white to like dark 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 blue and it looks like like the moon is coming out and it's turning nighttime and then she sees Krampus on the top of the roof and he starts hopping from roof to roof and chasing her like that that was my favorite scene in the movie I really enjoyed that the creature design for Krampus himself was also really cool when you finally get to see it at the end I thought the creature design was out of this world really good I liked it and then also some of the actors I did enjoy, like Adam Scott and Tony Collette, like some of them are just really classic good actors, like, and they really bring it, even if their roles are kind of not written that well, or it's just a weird movie, they always bring it in their roles, and they tend to really give it their effort, and you can tell, and all that kind of stuff, so that's why I really enjoyed them too. Like I said, and some of the just having the Christmas tropes in it and going all in on this was really cool. And the way they did it, I like that. Well, let's get down to talking about some of the negatives for the movie. And for me, it's it's a movie that I, I struggle with because I really did enjoy the horror aspect and the whole Christmas theme just mixed together. It was mixed together pretty well until we got to like the gingerbread CGI men and the little his little helpers, Krampus's little helpers that run around and help him. And, like, I understand Santa has little helpers, and this is something they put into the movie probably just to write it into the movie. So it was, like, almost like he's he is the evil Santa. So to have little helpers, elves that help him, toys that do bad things and stuff. But it just, once we got to that part of the movie, it dipped down for me. It totally took a shift into becoming, it was first kind of more horror status and very scary for the first kind of third of the movie and then in the halfway point once we meet the gingerbread men and the helpers and all that kind of stuff we get this tonal shift in the movie and it becomes more of a comical thing and it's just it's I understand why they did it but it just didn't work for me I would have appreciated it more if it stuck to more like that first killing scene with the sister and Krampus hopping from roof to roof and everything I wanted it to stay that tone and that feel it had kind of almost like a John Carpenter's the thing feel or an aliens feel with the xenomorphs kind of thing I wanted it to be just Krampus himself some mystical powers and he's able to do things and he's like a creature who has abilities but once we threw in the helpers and the gingerbread men and all those kind of things it took a turn for me and like the tonal shift just didn't work for me 
And then, like, as for the ending, the landing spot, like, just finding out about, like, what the kid's choice is and Krampus and how it ends up turning into the very end and we get reset back to the beginning. Like, it just was stuff that I didn't really want. I would have much rathered it just Krampus took all of them or he killed everybody. Like, and then they were just all gone and maybe left the one kid, like, alone, you know, or just taken them all. I would have appreciated that more. Like I said, if they went with more of a John Carpenter's The Thing style feel or Aliens, you know, with like the Ridley Scott feel, like something like that. But instead they went with a tonal shift and it goes into more of the comedy realm. Even the way that the parents react to some of the horrific things that they're seeing when like one of the kids is being like eaten by this jack in the box like uh, just the reaction it's not it's not even like a horrific reaction not even like oh my god like my kid's being eaten alive right in front of me it's a comical thing so because of that it definitely took a shift for me and that wasn't what I wanted it to be like it's still a film I can watch and I did enjoy I had a good time with it because a lot of the tropes and a lot of the things in it really fit and they really went all the way on this film so that was really cool like I said Tony Collette and Adam Scott and some of the actors they really brought the their skills to the role and you can feel them in this movie but it's just that tonal shift about halfway through the film really bothered me it just went from more horror to just more comedy to even more comedy and it just like it didn't work for me i would have like i said much rather none of the helpers none of those crazy cgi gingerbread men just more of krampus that cool creature design he has some good awesome abilities and things that he can do in the snow or like mystical powers stuff like that i would have liked that a lot better for sure but overall, in my book, Krampus is going to get a 6 out of 10. It's definitely still a good time, a good watch for sure. It's just one that I wouldn't return to a lot. Like, you know, I'll watch it when I kind of forget about some of the things that were in it and everything. I'll probably rewatch it again. So thanks for sticking around with me, guys, for this rad movie review. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Consider dropping a like and hitting that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the videos that I post and everything. And Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a safe and happy holiday. Peace out.